Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on what we're working on today. So we're here and we're filming an interview and it's for um, this company who's giving away 10,000 turkeys this Thanksgiving. It's this awesome thing to this to communities that really need some help. And so we're doing the interview today. I just wanted to give you a quick demo of the, of the setup. So Dimitri here is standing in. Um, this is camera A. Um, what you see back here are all boxes that are filled with turkeys. I'll show you the second camera. Camera B, which is this shot over here. We're using a C300 Mark II and a C100 as our two cameras. Way to go, Dimitri, you did it. So let me just show you the setup super quick. So our key light is the Skylux. That's what we like to use, the biggest soft box that we have. We can get a nice, um, nice look on Dimitri. We can get that pop in his eyes. You always want that little catch light, as they say. Then we have our uh, boom mic here. These over here are negative fill, so we're using these as a way to uh, enhance the shadows to pull some of the light off of his face. That's the purpose of that. Then we have, um, this is giving him a little bit of fill and a little bit of uh, rim light, okay? From here, we have the um, Source 4. What this is doing, if you look forward, we're actually giving a little bit of light on these boxes here. They were a little dark, so that's on off. You can see what we're working on there, right? So follow me over here. Um, one, the first thing we did when we got in here is we noticed the lights and we, saw, we thought, how can we make this look the best it possibly can? With all the lights on, it was a very flat look. Everything looked um, all evenly lit, which is great if you're working in here. Not as great if you are focused on cinematography and you want dynamics, you want contrast, highs and lows. So we went over to the light switch played with the different combinations on what can we turn on, what can we turn off, how do we make it look more dynamic in here. So we, we landed on turning off this row of lights that put a nice shadow on these boxes that makes it look um, a lot more dynamic. And then the last light that we had is over here. And this is the Razor 7. What this is doing is this is casting um, light across the top of all these boxes. See all those shadows? that's gonna really highlight those um, and make them stand out a little bit more. So let's go back down to the camera and I'll show you what that looks like on and off. Um, hey, Dimitri, why don't you go to the razor real quick and you can give me an on off for that, for that particular look. So follow me down here. Well, the last thing is this flag here, what we're doing here is we're cutting off the ceiling light, which is not an ideal filming light. Um, from lighting up the top of our talent's face. We don't want to use any of those lights to light our talent. We have our own professional lights that we're going to use for that. Um, not, we won't trust those lights. So take a look at this shot here. So that back light, what it's doing is it's getting all these little dots on there. So Dimitri, go ahead and turn off that razor. So you see that and then back on. So that's just giving a little bit of texture back there. It's gonna give, it's gonna make it look uh, nice and clean. So anyway, hope that's helpful. Just wanted to give you guys a quick demo what we're, what we're working on today. So anyway, talk to you soon.